go stand in front of it and let me. Tell me how I look on the other side. Do I look sexy? <laughs> I don't even need to look to know. What's going on, guys? It's fake Jason Paranormal. We are at the Donner Tunnels. We're not even in the tunnels yet. We just, like, just got the tip of it. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible joke, best. That's humor. Been up, been working for 15 days, so I'm just letting all the energy out. Um, wow, I definitely did not bring enough light because it's dark. I mean, even with my light on the camera right now, it's, it's really hard to see. Um, but we're going to film as we go and it's wet. Like, I think it is a cave <laughs> or a tunnel. I shouldn't say cave. Um, but we're up here to investigate and, uh, We'll uh, we'll hitch up as soon as we get further in. All right, bye. Good. Yep. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Fake Jason Paranormal. We are here at the Donner Tunnels. Um, yeah, I totally overestimated this place. Like, uh, it might have to be a comeback and shoot type another video because. <laughs> We got the light from the iPad, and then um, Jess, uh, behind that camera, has her flashlight pointed on me to help kind of give it more light. Um, all I can say is, holy shit, this place is amazing. Like, we're probably only, what, 500 yards into the first tunnel, and you probably can't see it. Way down there, there's a faint light, which is the end of this tunnel. Um, yeah, I mean, was that me? I guess that was me. Um, the noise really, really carries in here, so if we hear anything, we should definitely, um, hopefully catch it on audio. A uh, little bit about this place, um, over 10,000, um, Chinese held, uh, building tunnels. Um, six days a week, 24 hours a day, uh, it didn't matter, rain, snow, hot, cold, like, it was just one extreme after another, um, they had no electricity, so there were no lights, um, obviously there's no electricity, and uh, no ventilation, um, so all they had were, um, candles or, uh, lanterns. Let me see. So, something I just picked up off of Facebook. But I'm, imagine trying to walk through this tunnel with just this. Um, like, I mean, I can't even, I can't even imagine what that would be like. Uh, some of the stories were, um, they only got like on a good day they average like 14 inches a day 14 like they had groups of um 30 to 40 uh, they usually had you know one guy sitting there holding the um how do you want to call it the ch it's not even a chisel it's like a rod um so they could pound in um two maybe there were two or two and a half inch holes um, for the black powder um, to blast. Um, they also used nitrogly nit nitroglycerin. And for those, they only went like, in, uh, I think, an inch and a quarter, a quarter inch. So they didn't have to go as deep because it was more powerful, but it was a lot more unstable. Um, they had many deaths, uh, I'm sure, from uh, some of the stories that are read. Um, they lost people due to avalanches and they weren't able to actually find their bodies until the springtime after everything just kind of melted off. Um, yeah, they weren't paid very well. I think the, they were paid, um, the Chinese were paid uh, $25 a month um, to work up here in the 
these conditions. Um, the white people that were on the crew, that were in charge, like the foreman, they were making like $35 a month. Uh, I read some of the stories about the, um, the Chinese, they had to, to live in these huts. Um, there was, I mean, you're not comfortable. There's like, you know, there's no, there's no nice fluffy bed to go home to. They had to, I mean, these were harsh conditions. Uh, someone described them as like they were living in dog kennels. So, I mean, pretty much they decided, you know what, we're gonna use you guys to help build this and your lives don't matter. That's a bunch of crap. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is freaking impressive. Like, you guys really need to be here just to, to take in, I mean, damn. Uh, I'm not sure what tunnel we're in. I know, um, I was reading a little bit about Tunnel 6. That one there, uh, I think it took them like a year, year and a half. And they were scheduled for like, they were told it was gonna take them like three years to build. So like a year and a half. It was over 1,600, over 1,600 feet. Um, I think it took them like three and a half years to complete all the tunnels um, from California over the Sierras down into um, Nevada. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna, tell me that was you. Like where are you at? Jessica. Me, I'm right behind the camera, right behind the flashlight. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if she wants to hear it or not. I just saw something. Oh, fuck. Dude, I saw it again. Either there's somebody behind us. <laughs> So the one little tiny light you see in the very far distance. I mean, that's my flashlight. Yeah. See, that's what you were seeing. That is that trailer that's right on the outside. Oh, but it, it doesn't make sense because it shouldn't have been red. Might have been his brake lights. He's got the back end towards us. Maybe. I don't know. But totally... That's what that little dot is. All right, so we're gonna, maybe that was debunked. I don't know, you guys let me know. Well, you guys can't even let me know because you guys didn't see it. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna walk from the end to this tunnel. Uh, I don't know, maybe like another 50 yards or so, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll do our first EVP session. So we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm not sure what to expect or what we're gonna catch if we catch anything, but that's why we're up here. We're up here to see, you know, who's here. Um, souls left behind so catch y'all in a little bit good all right um we probably moved about another i don't know 50 yards down into this tunnel um i heard something that sounded like humming but she didn't hear it uh, so i'm like you know what let's pull out the sp7 spirit box and see if we get anything um, is anybody in here with us? Can you please say something? Come talk into this device, let us know you're here. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. We're just here to try and talk to you. Neither one of us right now have cell phone service because of where we're at. So if we die, I love you. If you die, they'll never see this. <laughs> Remember, all I gotta do is push you down. Eat her bear. See, I'm not really getting anything. 
Okay, come say something, please. Nothing. How long were you here? How long did it? How long did you work in this on these tunnels? Don't be intimidated by any of our devices. We're just here to communicate. I'll show you guys this device too. Um, really simple, I'm trying to think outside of the box. So I was thinking, you know, right, you know, everyone has a K2. Okay, I don't have a K2 yet. I'm not there yet. Um, but what if we get a spirit to interact with this bell? What if we can get it to come up, you know, and just. That's my theory behind this. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set this. Maybe we can get a little bit of interaction. There's somebody here with us that wants to say something to us. Can you come up and just tap this bell just like this? Don't be afraid of it. It's pretty easy. Gonna need a lot of energy, I don't think, to come up and just tap it. Uh, we're gonna do a, an EVP session. And, uh, we'll see what we get. Might get a lot of wind. I don't know because I can feel a breeze coming down. But I'm gonna set this right here. So this is Anthony and Jessica. It is October 21st, 2020. Um, we are up at the Donner Tunnels. If there is anybody in here with us, can you please come and say something into this device right here with the red light? Or if you're shy and you wanna come Interact. Can you come tap on this bell one time for me like this? Let me know you're here. There's somebody in here with us. Can you please come and tell us your name? Can you tell us how you died? Did you die helping build these tunnels? Did you maybe die in an avalanche or maybe in a blast that the fuse didn't go off? Uh, yep, there was a delayed reaction and you died trying to check on it. Do you need help crossing over? Is there anything we can do to help you? And I don't know, can't knock on anything, so I'm going to try something different. Um, if there's somebody in here with us, can you, I don't know, try and repeat this? See if we got any communication with you. So I just want to say thank you. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Get a little bit 
Anthony and Jessica. Um, they're going to be Or if you're shy, you want to come interact, you want to come interact, can you come tap on this bell one time for me like this? Let me know you're here. That was loud. What? No way. Like this bell one time for me like this? Let me know you're here. What? There's somebody in here with us. Like, it sounds like breathing. Can you please That's come what I'm hearing. And tell us your name. Can you tell us how you died? Did you die helping build these tunnels? Did you maybe die in an avalanche? Or maybe in a blast that the fuse didn't go off? Was it delayed reaction? You died trying to check on it? Hmm? Rewind it. Was that? Like, it's not like sniffling, Did right? Did it go off? No. Yep. There was a delayed reaction. You died trying to check on it? Do I need to go further back? Yeah. Before the delayed reaction, I thought it, I couldn't tell if it was you that said no or? The, the fuse didn't go off. No. Yep. There was a delayed reaction. Was that you? Died trying to check on it. Like that was really loud. Like I don't. You didn't say no. I tried to check on it. Now I, I help you build these tunnels. Did you maybe die in an avalanche, or maybe in a blast that the fuse didn't go off? No. Yep. There was a delayed reaction. You died trying to check on like, it. Like that's not me, is it? I don't think so. I don't remember you saying no. Oh, I didn't even hear a no. Do you need I help? heard like sh like Crossing over. like sniffling. I heard something. Do you think we no. can do to help you? Can Fuck. I don't know. Can Dude, what? Can anything? Ah. Can I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to listen to the headphones, but. Um, like, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. Can you, I don't know, try and repeat this? Listen to our device and see if we have any communication. So I just want to say thank you. All right. So, yeah, that kind of pretty crazy that there was definitely responses. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to go back and see what I think it says after I use the headphones to listen to it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk a little further in or maybe try and get completely out of this tunnel and on into the next one. So, uh, thanks guys. Hey, what's going on guys? So we are in, I don't know, maybe, what's it called? Tunnel two? Three. I don't, huh? Three. Three? There's a little tiny one in between. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where I was with that one either. Just like I didn't know we went through Truckee on the way up here. I'm like, where the hell is Truckee at? <laughs> She's like, uh, you missed the last six exits. Yeah, that's where I was at. Um, this is what happens when you're awake for 
what yeah, I've been awake since 2 a.m. 17, 18 hours now. So it's like 8 p.m. I just dropped in, so what's up to the new reality? They're doing a live stream right now at the uh, farmhouse. Uh, yeah, I mean, this place is oh, definitely insane. We're going to go ahead and just do another EVP session. Um, not really getting a lot from uh, this the spirit box, but if we go a little bit deeper, right now we're conflicted. It's like, do we go further because there's people in front of us, or do we go back? Because like the the vibe right in here, it's like it's just ease. Like there's no no nothing. But that first tunnel that we were in, um, definitely like a, a lot heavier vibe. My stomach just kind of you know. It doesn't feel little. creepy in here. So, but we're gonna go ahead and do another EVP session. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna set this right here. This is Anthony and Jessica. Um, we'll call this 10 3. Um, October 20th, October 21st, 2020. So, is anybody in here with us? Can you tell us why it is you decided to come and build these tunnels? Like, why you chose to? And I'm not sure, um, guys, that EVP session right here is probably a smart idea, just because I can hear a lot of the, the highway traffic on any. So, if it doesn't work out, we'll just edit it out. <laughs> Is say hi anything, to everyone, we're live. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Can you tell me how old you were when you passed away? Do you happen to know where you're at? Can you tell me where exactly you're at right now? Is this the Donner Tunnels? It must be the one below us down here. All right, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna go ahead and see what we got. I'm gonna hold my breath. Tell us why it is you decided to come and build these tunnels, like why you chose to. I'm not sure how the guy in the EVP session right here is probably a smart idea, just because I can hear a lot of the, the highway traffic on me. So, if it doesn't work out, we just edit it out. Is there, anything, is there anything you'd like to say to us? Can you tell me how old you were when you passed away? Do you happen to know where you're at? Can you tell me where exactly you're at right now? the Donner Tunnels. Let's get the one below us down here. Alright, we're gonna stop this. We're gonna go ahead and see what we got. Yeah, there's nothing on there. And of course you're not gonna pick up anything all the time. 
So we will go ahead and trek forward and uh, see if the vibe changes. But like I said, this right here is like, I don't know, super calm. Like it doesn't give me the creeps. Um, I felt safer in the tunnels than I did outside of the tunnels because my, my history with animals is not that great. Um, yeah, of course you guys didn't see it. Um, episode one, uh, maybe we'll add it as a blooper. Um, but we ran into a deer out in the fields. So, and then of course episode two, oh shit, it's a snake. So this one, as long as neither one of us gets mauled by a bear, a cougar, a mountain lion, my luck would be a rabid llama, we'll be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go march a little bit more forward and uh, see what we find, see if the vibe changes. All right, thanks guys. What's going on guys? We're, uh, came back into tunnel number one. Yeah, we're just not really picking up a lot of anything. Uh, we just tried a sensory deprivation, and I don't know, it's like a good two, two and a half minutes, and just nothing, it was just like dead quiet. Um, can you come communicate with us? Can you come, like I said, can you come tap this bell, please? Just like this. Is it because it's too close to us? Is that why you're not you're not gonna ding it? So what if I walk down the middle? Hey guys, what's going on? I just set up right there. I just set the bell. Try to get something to, to interact with it. Um, gonna do another EVP session. Um, we just had a lot of. Like, it's almost nine o'clock at night, and we're still bumping into people. So it's, yeah, this is kind of a, a weird investigation. Not thoroughly, uh, <laughs> not thoroughly tested out by myself, I apologize. I don't want to give you guys any shitty content. This is Anthony and Jessica. We are back in tunnel number one. Can you come communicate with us, please? There's a bell down there that I set up. Can you go ring it? It's not gonna take a lot of effort or a lot of energy on your part. If you're in here with us, go ring that bell. Go ring it once. I mean, it doesn't matter how many times you ring it. You can pound it to your heart's content. Let us know you're here. water dripping from the tunnel in the background. Is there something about this cave? Is it because of all the, the, the granite and the water? It's kind of harnessing the energy. I just really like to like to try and communicate with us. I'm gonna count. I'm gonna skip a number. And when I skip that number, can you please fill it in? One, two, three. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. 
That was behind me. That wasn't the water. Five. Seven. Eight. Ten. I'm gonna do something else, and I'm not. I'm not trying to taunt you in any way. I want to see if if you can do it. So, if there's anybody or somebody in here, can you just toss a rock like this. Can you do that and let us know that you're in here with us? Can you say my name? Can you say Anthony? Or Jason? Can you say Jessica? One more time. Just like this. Like I said, it's not, I'm not a disrespect. I just want to know if you can come communicate with us. So if you can, Toss a rock in the, in the same direction that I'm going, okay? Let's play this back and see what we got. There's a rock comes out going down and smacks me in the head. Karma! I do say I like doing EVPs in this tunnel because, I don't know, it's just a lot quieter. So I'm carrying a little bit better. As Anthony and Jessica, we are back in tunnel number one. Can you come communicate with us, please? There's a bell down there that I set up. It's not going to take a lot of effort or a lot of energy on your part. If you're in here with us, go ring up again. Ring it. It's not going to take a lot of effort or a lot of energy on your part. Is that you talking? If you're in here with us, go okay. ring that bell. Go Did you guys hear that? That was a female voice. It's not going to take a lot of effort or a lot of energy on your part. If you're in here with us, go ring that bell. Go ring it once. I mean, it doesn't matter how many times you ring it. You pound it to your heart's content. Let us know you're here. Much water dripping from the tunnel in the background. Is there something about this cave? Is it because of all the, the, the granite? Water just kind of harness in the energy. This where you like to like to try and communicate with us. I'm gonna count and I'm gonna skip a number. And when I skip that number, can you please fill it in? You hear it sounded like somebody laughing in the background. Five. Seven. Eight. Ten. I'm gonna do something else. And I'm, not, that me? I'm not trying to taunt you in any way. Ten. 
I'm gonna do something else, and I'm not, I'm not trying to taunt you anyway. We'll have to go I want to see and watch if, footage. If you can do it. So, if there's anybody or somebody in here, can you just toss a rock like this? Can you do that and let us know that you're in here with us? You don't have to be afraid of us. Can you say my name? Can you say Anthony? Or Jason? Can you say Jessica? One more time. Just like this. Like I said, it's not, not a disrespect. I just want to know if you can come communicate with us. So if you can, toss a rock in the, in the same direction that I'm throwing, okay? It feels really weird right now. Let's play this back and see what we got. Super, super calm. I could just, I don't want to use the word dead calm, but that's what it kind of feels like. Bad choice of words. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'll grab this stuff real quick. We're just going to do a little walk and talk. Because we haven't done a lot of that. You want to get your backpack? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to. I know, guys, it's probably going to be loud coming through here. But... So the things that we had heard, usually it's from, from the, uh, from when we stopped. Sorry guys, I'm super tired. Yeah, like you can only see about five feet away from us. Yeah. And it was like super choppy. It is as dark as it looks. Yeah, so let's light off. So the only light that's illuminated right now is just from the uh, the iPad. Which this is our first time using. Uh, we'll walk a little bit further away from that water drip and uh, see if do another EVP session. Seems to be about the only thing that's we're getting any. That was me. Oh, shit. The only thing we're getting any interaction with is uh, EVPs. Not a lot of personal. Uh, yeah, this stuff right here. Not a lot of. Let me see the mouth. We've heard what sounds like voices. Um, I've, I've heard what sounds like a, a, a man humming. Just like a. Other than that, I mean, we should really be able to hear pretty good. I mean, you can hear how much my voice carries. So. Guys, that's the digital recorder. You see my hands, I didn't even touch it, and it's playing. Is that you? Did you just turn on my digital recorder?
Instead of playing with this, come play with this. Come on. This. Or that's it, take a rock. Just so we know you're here. I'm gonna go ahead and do another session. Set it right again. Was that you that just turned on my digital recorder in my pocket? Can you come ring this bell? I showed you a few times how easy it is to, to make it go off. Do me a favor, if you're in here with us right now, I'm gonna walk towards so a little bit. Of, if you're in here right now, can you scream? Can you yell and let us know you're in here? Is it you just like to mess with people? Can you come do this for me? Was a tripod. Can you finish that? Or can you knock? You don't even have to, to do that. Can you just knock three times? Break time's over. You guys need to get back up. We gotta get to blasting. We gotta finish this. Gotta finish this tunnel. We're behind schedule. Can you come say anything? How are the conditions that you had to work in? I can't imagine they were easy. Having to breathe in all that dust, no light, no ventilation, having to use a lantern or a candle. Like I said, come, come touch that bell. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. So, one last time. There's me bent over, by the way. One last time. We got a rock. You don't have to toss it at me. You don't have to throw it at me. I just want you to be able to throw one and hit one of these walls and let us know you're in here. Just like this, okay? Do you want some food? Are you hungry? Maybe some water, because you've been working hard. We got water if you want some water. If you want some water, can you ring that bell? All right, let's go ahead and see what we got, guys. Ring at the bell. We can ring at the bell. If you guys like this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. All right, here we go.
Was that you that just turned on my digital recorder in my pocket? Can you come ring this bell? Can you come ring this Somebody bell? Said, yeah. I showed you a few times how easy it is to to make it go off. Do me a favor, if you're in here with us right now, I'm gonna walk towards. So. If you're in here right now, can you scream? Can you yell and let us know you're in here? Is it you just like to mess with people? Can you come do this for me? My am I not being assertive enough? I think break time's over. You guys need to get back up. We gotta get to blasting. We gotta finish this gotta finish this tunnel. We're behind schedule. Say, come, come touch that bell. It's not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. So, one last time. That's me bending over, by the way. One last time. We got a rock. You don't have to toss it at me. You don't have to throw it at me. I just want you to be able to throw one and hit one of these walls. Let us know you're in here. Just like this, okay? some water because you've been working hard we got water if you want some water if you want some water can you ring that bell all right let's go ahead and see what we got guys i don't know it looks like we might have might have caught something there in the beginning. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, this place is really, really, you just have to come up and just, I mean, take it all in. 
we're here in the middle of the night. So I know we're probably missing out on a lot that we can't see because it is dark out. Truck out on the highway. Yeah, but we haven't heard any cars at all. Maybe it's a plane. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, thanks you guys. It's super, super weird. Come on. House arrived. Pretty sure it can work. Maybe it's not the right thing. <laughs> Pretty sure that was just me getting the bail and it lifted up. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna, gonna walk down a little bit more. We're just gonna keep it going. Um, and uh, oh man, it got cold. So this place is pretty amazing. Oh look, 007. No, that's not 007. I'm a dumbass. That's what I am. It's a pair of eyes. <laughs> it looks like 007. It does look, yeah. In my defense, it looks like 007. It looks like somebody underlined the zeros. Yeah. What does it call me? 00 dumbass. <laughs> now this is... This place is kind of cool. I mean, on the way up here, I probably stopped the car four different times and jumped out just to, just to take pictures. But, yeah, I mean, there's graffiti all over this place. Ooh, what was it? Oh, okay. We'll probably... Okay, that's the... In the town. But, uh, Don't go into the light. for as long as I have. I mean, this is the first time I've ever been up here. You know. Probably should have been doing more of this when I first came in, but I just figured that, uh, you know, all the walking, I think I wouldn't want to listen to that for an hour. Yeah, this place is cool. I think it's like 16, I think they said 16 feet wide, 18 feet tall, 
with an eight and a foot half inch um, half circle diameter at the top um, to be able to, to get the trench through here. Of course, those that are familiar with the history and the Donner Party, they all uh, they did not end well. Technically, we're in California. California, Nevada, whatever. California keeps burning, it's going to be Nevada. So, California history. Oh my God. How did we not see that one? Holy shit, guys. Check this out. Like, look at that. That is insane and also sketchy as you know what. Holy cow. Like, I can't even imagine what's even holding that position, that there. That one went off right there and that piece of wood. Oh, I'm trying to take a picture. Sorry guys, I'm trying to take a picture and hold the tripod at the same time. That is really cool. I can't see. So anyways, uh, again, the Nevada history of very retarded. Um, California history, I guess. I never learned about it in history class, so I'll just call it Nevada history, I don't care. <laughs> but uh, no, um, didn't end well. Uh, we got stuck coming over the path in a bad storm. And I think this, I briefly read there were like 75 people in the party and 46 in total made it. And some of them uh, resorted to cannibalism in order to survive. That's kind of a, a neat little story. Buddy. Okay, back in the rock. Are well, you got boots on? I got tennis shoes. That is why I wore boots. Oh, look. Card is real light. I'm pretty sure you couldn't even see that. Hey, look. Quit moving. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> To see my pretty face. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't pay at all. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, look at stuff like that. Just some random ass rebar down there um, was a hook that we found in the wall. And you, can see, and you guys really can't see. But you can tell um, the roof of the tunnels. Uh, widen that. Widen your flashlight. Okay. Um, you see how it's black? That's from the, the engine that came through. Yeah. Yeah. The wind is. Supposed to be blowing pretty good, and uh, yeah, see that water leaking through. That makes you feel uneasy. <laughs> Where? Oh yeah, like this right here, guys. It's gotta be at least seven foot. Well, I mean, you can. Uh, 
have a deal with raising a monitor. This is like, it's like one of those horror movies, you know, where you just run down the down the hallway and it just keeps getting longer. That's what this feels like. You can see it, but the closer you get, the more, you know, the further it gets from you. Yeah, originally we were going to come up here. Wednesday or uh, Friday night and shoot, but uh, there's supposed to be a cold front coming through. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool. Right? I'd say it's probably about what, 40 degrees right now, maybe. So I, mean, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like in a couple days. Plus, we have a small chance of getting our first snow showers for the year. things happen, you know, I'm not trying to claim everything's paranormal, guys. You know, I'll debunk them as we go if I think, you know, something I did, I'll tell you. you know, like that, that I felt. But, yeah. I'm sorry, I know this is a lot of footage. It's probably really crappy to look at. Um, but I think we're going to try and stop at one other place. Uh, do you want to tell them where it's at? Uh, it's an old uh, cemetery for a psychiatric hospital. Those of you who follow the haunted side would have seen it. Um, and Jason was live streaming from there. Maybe we'll combine this with that. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead real quick and jump back in front of this guy. Um, yeah, it's super cold right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I got Wi-Fi in here. Really? You have Wi-Fi? Well, Where there's no Wi-Fi? No, I have no service. Um, cloud. So I don't think I have service. signal so uh, we'll go ahead and end it right here um, but it's not the end of the night we're gonna go check out another um, we're gonna check out that graveyard and then maybe we'll pop up in uh, another location after that all right talk to you guys later see you on the flip side